Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to generate contour lines from a digital illusion model using ArcGIS Pro, which is actually really simple and a fairly easy process. Now, contour lines are lines on a map that connects points of equal elevation. And what they're commonly used for is, basically they show the shape of the terrain by representing the height of the land with a series of lines that join the points of equal elevation. And contour lines are quite useful for understanding the topography of an area, such as steepness of slopes, the shapes of ridges and valleys, and locations of hills and depressions, things like that. So for this exercise, we are going to make use of a digital elevation model to start with. And in case if you are not really sure where to obtain a digital elevation model from, you can get one absolutely for free by heading over to USGS Earth Explorer web portal. And I have done tutorials showing you guys step by step process of downloading a DEM completely for free. And if you would like to check out that tutorial, click the link on the top right corner of the screen and you would be able to see that video as well. So I'm going to start assuming that you guys have downloaded your own DEM, which is exactly what I have done right over here. I have downloaded my DEM which is a TIFF file. And to load up the DM to ArcGIS Pro, all I have to do is just click and drag the TIFF file into your ArcGIS workspace. And just like this, you will be zoomed into the correct location. So right over here, you can see the variation of the elevation all the way from negative one up until 617 meters above the mean sea level. And before I go ahead and generate the contours, let me select a different color scheme for this. Thing I would go with a color scheme like this. So now you can see that the lowest elevations are represented by this dark blue color and the highest elevations are shown by brown color. Alright, so in order to generate the contours, all you have to do is just go to analysis and go to tools and that'll open up the geoprocessing toolbox and all you have to do is just search for a tool called contour. All right, so let's go with this first one right over here. And you can see that we are going to need a couple of inputs. So the first one is going to be the input raster. In my case, that's going to be this elevation.tiff. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And the output feature class, well, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to change the name of my output. So let's keep it as it is. And right over here, we do have a crucial input that we need to specify the contour interval. So the contour interval would really depend on what you're looking for. For example, in my case, I can see that my elevations basically vary from, I mean, if I were to just consider this negative one to be zero, it basically varies from zero to about roughly 600 meters above mean sea level. So if I would like to have my contours generated with an interval of, let's say 50 or 100 meters, I think even visually that would be much more clear to see rather than having a contour interval like one meter. So if you have a contour interval of one meter, basically you're going to generate a contour at every one meter increments of elevation, which is going to populate this entire raster with a massive number of contour lines, which I don't think would be that useful. So to get started, I'm going to stick with a value of maybe around 100 meters. And let's see how that looks. And I'm going to set my base contour value to be zero. And when it comes to contour type, you can see that we have four different types of contours, but I'm going to stick with this first option. And after that, we can just go ahead and click run. And just in no time, you can see that we managed to generate the contour lines. Now, if I turn off this raster, I think the contour lines would be much more clear for you guys. And the cool thing is that if you head over to map and click on explore, you can actually explore the details about each of these different contour lines. If I were to click on this line, you can see that the contour value is 100 over here. And let's see what this one refers to. Yeah, that one is also 100. And maybe if I move on to this local highlands over here, you can see that if I check out this line, that's going to be 300 meters. And the one next to that, that's going to be 400 meters. And the one next to that, well, should be 500 meters because we define a contour interval of 100 meters. Now, if you would like to increase the density of your contours, of course, what you can do is you can rerun this tool. However, you might have to change the name over here. And this time, let's say if I were to go with a contour interval like, let's say 30 meters. 
I think you can imagine that the contour density is definitely going to be higher compared to this one. Yeah, so that's how a contour map with a contour interval of 30 meters would look. And what you also can do is you can right click and go to attributes table and you can check out the field called contour. So this is the field in which you would get your contour values with 30 meter intervals basically. And if you would like to have labels displayed on this map, while this layer is being selected, you can basically head over to labeling and over here as the field, you can select contour because again, remember contour was the field heading under which all the contour values were recorded. And once you have done that, you can just click right over here on label and that'll basically display the labels. Now, of course, you can go ahead and make changes according to your preference when it comes to how you would like to display your labels. You can reduce the font size. You can also play with the label placement. Let's say if you would like to sort of get the contour values displayed on top of the line in this kind of a manner, you can go for a representation like that as well. And if you were to just inspect the contours like this, you would be able to see that now the values are being displayed on the line itself. Well, I can increase the font size just a little bit in order to make sure that the values are visible. And now if I head back to map and go to explore, and if I were to click on one of these lines, you could see that I would be able to get the information pertaining to each of these different lines. In this case, as you can see, the value should be 390. And similarly, if I go to this, the adjacent contour, well, it might be a bit tricky to click exactly right on top of the line. Yeah, I managed to do that. And that happens to be 420 as you can see from here. So guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. As you can see, it's a fairly easy and a straightforward process generating contours from a digital elevation model using ArcGIS Pro. If you do have any questions, don't forget to add a comment down below and I'll see you guys again with another tutorial.